I'ma murder this one and murder that one. Talking all that bullshit. I'ma put it to you like this, yo. This is for the nerds. This is for the brainiacs. This is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back. You ain't gonna touch me. You're not gonna do nothing. You are not above me. I bet you wish you was me. I know it, I know. What is poppin' everybody, and welcome back to another special episode of the Only Friends Podcast. Well, you know, it's me and my only friends, which includes, but it's not limited to, Poo Dog Melissa. Oh, wow. Hello. How are you today, Poo Dog? I'm good. You can't say that. Oh, yeah, that's not allowed. Mm, band word. Yeah. Oh, band. Band word. Band, out of the community. <clears throat> You're not allowed to say... Uh, poo dog oh. any longer in public yeah. spaces. <laughs> boo the poo. <laughs> wow. This has been unbelievable. This has been banned. Uh, unreal. How how big of a deal are you? They the, just. I was taking up too much of the chat real estate. They were like, we gotta <laughs> ban this. Like, poo just, is not an acceptable word. Efro has been banned from the chat for violating chat rules. A blocked until, word poo was found until two p.m. yesterday. <laughs> wow. he, this man took one on the chin for you. Bad beat. I know. Literally. Uh, well worth it, though. Mr. Poo Dog did well. Mr. Poo Dog cooked. He mm -hmm. did cook. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that briefly here. I, I would like to see the, uh, the list of banned words. Me too. Because if Poo is on there... Is it Poo or is it Poo Dog? It's got to be Poo. Well, it said Poo. It said Poo. It said poo. Oh, oh, oh. it said poo, so you can't say Poo. And you can't mask it within Which, another word. Well, I guess not. But like, so Who was using Poo egregiously? Come on, Poker yeah. Girl. We're getting a little soft here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, What soft. other words are on there? I like, mean, they probably just don't pick it. They probably just... crap? Can you not say crap? They probably just like crap have dog. a... There's probably just a list yeah. of words that Can you change your name to Crap Dog? Dog? Sure. <laughs> Can crap. you not say gosh darn it? Crap Dog. Yeah, Crap Dog. God, crap dog no, sounds. Don't you put that on Pipolinski Berkshire when you say oh. crap dog? <laughs> crap That's dog. a good dog. Well, he's crap, a good she's girl. crapped out right now. So. That's a good girl. She is crapped out. She's getting so big. She's always sleeping. Yeah, it's because she's, she's just growing. growing. She really does sleep a lot. Makes that makes nervous. you tired? She's going to be like your size. No. I think so. Oh, well, you grow she in your sleep. She's a lot of calories. Oh, that's why she sleeps a lot? Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. you're growing, when you're rapidly growing, you just sleep. That's why I take HGH before bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> you, Does it make you, you think you're still growing? Well, no, no, no. But <laughs> your HGH release is uh, at the highest while you're sleeping, and the whole point of taking HGH is to stimulate natural growth. So you take it before bed. Gotcha. Now, now you. The more you know. Bling. We need that for this show. Mm. We need a, a a blatant ripoff of. Was that NBC? I feel like it was NBC. Uh, no, I, I don't think it was. Um, or was it Reading Rainbow? No, I think it was. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> he, he's stimming. <laughs> he's stimming. He showed it out. I think it was. Yeah. Because uh, well, uh, uh, when you said uh, Reading Rainbow, uh, it wasn't Reading Rainbow. Well, it wasn't it be, NBC either. It was just a. It was just a, a commercial, right? I think it was like maybe it was. Like I a, thought it was a commercial on NBC. Oh, uh, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it, it seems is an like we NBC can use thing. it. No one can remember what it's from. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck you guys. Well, are fucking Biden about. over here isn't remembering right. anything. Oh, he it just was from <laughs> short story. And just like does the Mitch God. McConnell like <laughs> space <laughs> out. <laughs> just, just that that shouldn't be funny, but he's an awful enough human where I think it's really yeah. funny still. <laughs> well, it's amazing because like I'm short circuiting at 42. <laughs> oh God! Like, can you imagine <laughs> who's being, running this fucking you, country? Can you imagine being in your 80s and trying to run the country? Honestly, like I I really don't know know how these guys even pretend to do it like they, they don't do it obviously but yeah. i don't know how they pretend Their to handlers do it in the, in the back like fuck it's happening again <laughs> uh just just give them the yeah. shot of adrenaline or something <laughs> give them the imagine they just come out with the pulp fiction and just like poof, right in the chest <laughs> uh -huh. get them fired up do it. <laughs> stand straight back up like, man and this is unsettling i keep seeing myself on the confidence monitor and i haven't a shaved in a very long time or b had lips this chapped in a very long time and it's quite the uh ah Bruh. Yeah, nobody can see that. I, it, they look normal. They yeah. dry out. Do yeah. they? Yep. Yeah, now. Yeah. Look, oh man, they do not. But now, not. But now it looks like sickly. you got fucking herpes on your lip because <laughs> you said that. <laughs> I also cut myself shaving, so that's not helping my cause much either. <laughs> Been a whole fucking mess here. The the best we could do is a scraggly beard to cover it all. Yeah. Um. Big shout out to Tyler 
Uh, he is creative director <laughs> over at. Okay. A <laughs> 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 little late on the timing, but let's fucking roll, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man, really yeah. What is this? That is Pulp Fiction. One of the That's Pulp Fiction. Scene, yeah. of all time. She was stroking out. Uh, oh. She overdosed. That was their version of Narcan or yeah. Narcon or yeah, whatever yeah, the I fuck back it. then. I guess it was just adrenaline. No, it was adrenaline. Yeah, 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 it was adrenaline. yeah that's what I'm saying. It's their, yeah. their version of what we use now is. I'm is not it, good at is it Narcon? Out Nar- 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 Narcan, Narcan, yeah, Narcan. reverses a uh, overdose. An overdose. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there's adrenaline apparently. <laughs> Get started now. Get right out of it, you know. Uh, big shout out to Tyler. He's a avid watcher of the show. He hit me up on Instagram and he said, "Love the show. Love what you're doing. And I see that you have ice shakers. I'm like, fuck yeah, I love ice shakers. I have three of them. <clears throat> you know, per mine and Poo Dog's uh, conversation, yeah. where I get mold in the lid, so one was not cutting it any longer. <laughs> I ended up with three. And he goes, "I actually work for a creative design for ice shakers. Would love to get you a custom." Cu- couple custom bottles. Oh. And as you can see, wow. here, I literally just. One. How those long have those cool. been up there? Uh, about five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I, I just uh, noticed yeah. them. I thought how they were up there the whole time. Got there. two more downstairs. Uh, we got the big boy. We got the half gallon downstairs. That one might be a permanent resident, like right here. So I'm not oh. really sure yet. And then I uh, got another big sulfur Y one, similar to this Only Friends one. Do a great job. Really appreciate Those it. Look looking nice. out for us. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for my ice shaker, Tyler. Well, yeah. You fucking Thank you. Relax. Yeah. Which one do you want? Do you want Conrad? Do you want? Do you want the Only Friends one, or do you want the sulfur Y one? I'll take the other, whatever one yeah, you don't want. Honestly, I haven't seen them yet, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. To be honest with you, I'll just that's why. Right, look, yeah. there's a few things that need to be cleared up. Number one, <laughs> number one it was my Instagram he contacted. <laughs> I created well, this godforsaken show, and I'm gonna reap the fucking benefits. Okay, number two, uh, these are these are gym shakers, Conrad. They are meant for protein and pre-workout. Okay. Or did you never they, hear the phrase "It's better to give than to receive"? I I know all about fucking giving tortoise. Bert, you Bert, guys all exist because of me. Bert, but okay. What I, it's not here because of me. What these ice shakers will not have in them is gin on the rocks with a little fucking <laughs> scoop of creatine. Okay. Listen. I will not allow <laughs> this sort of sacrilege for such a great gift. Well, Thank well, you, Tyler. Bert, what if I put some iron in there? Iron, yeah. A little <laughs> iron city with the with the buckos on in the background. Yeah. All right, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I I actually was thinking maybe I'll give one to Tortoise. Maybe uh, he could use this with his P90X workout. Tortoise is in great yeah. shape. Sam yeah. said that last night. He was like, I, I saw him walking like, up. Tortoise him, looks like he's in really good shape. I was driving like, up yeah, today and yeah. he was walking in the in the driveway as I was pulling in and I was like, fucking tortoise keeping it tight. Yeah. And I come in, he goes, did arms today. I go, no, nah, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop looking at my ass. He looks at every, he's like, Landon's got a wagon. Like he checks not out, a good all, way. Checks out all his friends' asses. Not, not I do not mean it as a compliment for, for Landon. Oh. That thing needs a goddamn license plate attached to it. I don't know how he gets through doors. You know how guys like try to get their lats big enough to where they can't fit through a door? Yeah. His hips are going that way. Yeah. Like, bro, you gotta, you gotta tone it down or a give birth. One or the other. Birthing hips. <laughs> This is too much. See, don't ever leave. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. All right, we do have some people cooking, so let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, I messed up. I'm you sorry. messed oh, up. Was, oh, oh, and, and, and it was a really good segue. No, I had two less tortillas. I appreciate you at least complimenting the segue. Back and Jumped out with my soul leaking, going hard till I'm so eating. No chatting and no speaking, no deafening with slow breathing. Damn, homie, you the man, homie. They can't do it, but you can, homie. They can't do it, but you can. What is popping? It's another day. We got some other people cooking this week. For starting off, we got poker face ass. <laughs> oh, come on, Grappo. Oh. Oh. Come on, Grappo. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were starting with Sam. Yeah. We went over yeah. this in pre-production. Sam, you said Sam said first. No, he didn't. He no, he definitely, just... definitely said Ash first. I'll be honest with you. I was, I was just going with the last second. Uh, <laughs> like, look, I do have Sam written down first here. I, I could have sworn you guys said Sam first, <laughs> but I heard the last second. It's of course, of course, Conrad and Guapo are on the wrong page. Thank you, the two gaslighters of all people, to finally have we're, my fucking back. Uh, I got you, I got you, Burke. I got you. All right, all right, Wait, what all right. Mean, what, do you mean, so. what do you mean the two gaslighters? <laughs> yeah, we never gaslit in our lives. Yeah, are you kidding right. me? I've right. never gaslit. Right. I'm you. the gaslighter. You enjoy being gaslit. It's fun to gaslight Burke about, be, about getting gaslit. Yeah, it is. Back on track. Anyway, Mr. Poo Dog. Oh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't say that. 
Sam Laskowitz no, gets second. No, we're, are we? We're still. All right, whatever. <laughs> do ash well, he put up this graphic, so that's why I went with okay, this one. Go okay, on. my God, Sam mm -hmm. Laskowitz gets second in the 10K, I believe. Let I me tell you who's 15K. not cooking. 15K. They, uh, yeah, they they chopped heads up. He got 220K for second. Dope. And some leaderboard points. And then he hopped right back in the today's 15K. Nice. Got to be on the grind for that leaderboard. Yeah. Also cooking. Poker face ass. She got fourth for 20K at the Run Good series. Okay. Man, she just She's crushing these Run Good series. Yeah, she really does. She's Shout out like to Ash, former Academy attendee. We appreciate score. it. It seems like every week she has like a, you know. A five-figure nice score for sure. Yeah, somewhere yeah. in the middle, Midwest. It's yeah. a nice place. God, I need to go. I need to go. Yeah. Also, who's cooking? Our final chef. Oh, man. He's the fucking best. Boban! Whoa. He got the people chicken. chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm going to explain this after you guys see the clip. <laughs> it's all going to make sense. Don't worry. He is a handsome guy. Good looking dude. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Now, what you all need to know is that Bobin used to be the center for the Clippers. They're playing in Los Angeles, and they run this giveaway where if any opponent misses back-to-back -back free throws, the entire stadium gets free chicken. So Bobin bricked the first three throw, and being up by eight points late in the fourth quarter, he goes, I got you, fam. Don't worry. I know all about the chicken deal. He bricks left and then just holds the finger up like as if he's the godsend <laughs> that they've all been waiting for. I, I hope mean, they won the is. game. I, I'm they pretty did. sure they won. Obviously, they won the, the game. game had to have been pretty much all. Four, four and a half minutes left. They're up by eight. Four, four and a half minutes? That's risky. Come on now, Bobin. Are you serious? It's the, it's the last game of the season. I don't think it meant anything oh, okay. uh, also. Okay. That's fair. That but what sense. did mean something is that he will forever be remembered in the LA Clipper fans hearts that is right. true and when you look like that it's really Does important to cement like a legacy cauliflower ear he has everything <laughs> he has <Yeah>. everything <laughs> he looks like George Mirashan's bastard child yes. with China oh no imagine imagine if uh, <laughs> a face only a mother could love imagine if if the uh smells the, like the, cabbage the, the line was like eight or something. Right. And so, and oh like, God. people lost, like, I mean, there's four and a half minutes left. I know. Oh, so yeah, now all of a sudden, there's, yeah, no, yeah, but now like, there's a lot of games yeah, left. like that, like, changes this, like, somebody's bet by thousands of dollars. Well, that's sports. Uh, right. I will say, I appreciate what you, you two did. I, I see it now, Gu Guapo Conrad. I understand. I, I didn't see it at first, but now it finally it all came together. This is a racist joke. There's a punchline. Yeah, 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 we got a racist coming. joke. Well, I it's mean, coming. it's yeah. just abundantly clear. We always end these who's cooking on a joke. And though the Bobin uh, brick for chicken is perfect, nobody was cooking worse than you two in that segment. Wow. <laughs> Total. total. <laughs> that was what we call racism. Uh, total, total uh, grease fire. You know. That's, I mean, this uh, is what fucking cooking with grease. This is what we have on this side. Yes, you're right. You wrote it down in the wrong order. He executed in the wrong order, and the three of us are fucking sitting here confused. No, the gaslighters are just gaslighting. No. That's the no, problem. No. He said like, it. As he you said, said, he said it just now in that order. Right no. before we no, went to it. it but before, before he said this order it's okay. that I have written down on this beautiful piece of Honestly, this piece is of thingy. this is piece of thingy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect uh, representation of why nothing ever goes well on this podcast this because is why I we say can't things. Stuff. Okay. Right. Like I say stuff, but it just goes out into the ether. This like shit is crazy. Bits and pieces I, are heard here and there. The you only know? thing I want is like our, re our mics to be recorded pre-show from now on. That's it. No, no, no just for us. Just for us. You don't want that. Just for us. No, you don't want that. Think how yeah. boring this show would be if like everything ran smoothly all the time. Yeah, that's that'd true. be just like it would be boring and dumb that. and not fun. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys are gonna be you, you're ready to set up for the Thursday episode after this. You're gonna do some test runs. Gonna get mm. this table up and popping. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna work mm -hmm. some camera angles, graphics. Mm. You're the manager. This is your task. Wait, it is? <laughs> Wait, are we doing it? I don't know. I managed self-reliant. Not, not, not only friends, but we can get the table up here. It'll only take like 
An hour. We don't need... An hour need, and a half. I love that you think that. I know. Every, every, every time he talked in the chat, I just know Guapo was somewhere off in a dark corner uh, like just laughing like, hysterically uh, like the Joker. Wrist. What are you talking about laughing? No, not laughing as it's funny. Uh, laughing yeah. in like irony where it's just like these idiots think what that this mean? stuff is so simple. Yeah, hang a fucking camera up there. Set up some shots. So, yeah, put, just, ring the goddamn be, table like, up here. It's dental floss like uh, swinging around. Shit, no, nah, it's not going to move. Come First on. of all... I got duct tape down there. We, we we, we don't good. need we don't need any of that to figure out if we can actually pull off the mechanics. We can we can do all of that without moving the table or anything along those lines. All we need to do is get the what the, the little mo- dongle the mobile setup. No, oh yeah, we could do that too. But uh, I was just gonna say the dongle. As long as we can run the server on your on your thing, we can see if we can overlay the graphics. In which case, what they're talking about is setting up a table. Yeah, for the 500th episode, but it might be for the 600th episode. Yeah, I think, yeah. Like way <laughs> I, need to I think we need some lead time here, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You think um, six months? Feels I was gonna about say, right. yeah, four months, four or five months, to give us enough time. <laughs> okay. That feels about yep. right. Yeah. You, guys, you guys are fucking pathetic. Five ninety-eight. We'll like, so what do you guys think we should do? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's move the table. It'll take five minutes. Honestly, this is the plight of of having a daily show too, because. Every, I mean, I say every year, this is the third year running, but every February-ish, I'm like, guys, World Series getting close. We should really have a plan of attack for this mm-hmm. series. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. this is our time right. to capitalize on being a daily show during the biggest time. And then May 30th rolls around. It's like, so what are we going to do for the series? And then people are like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to play. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not going to be in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday. Landon yeah. usually leaves Friday. like for two months prior to it. Yeah. Right. Landon's just like off in I some mean, other country. He's Matt, not exactly a big part of the planning team. Is there any That's way you can get me uh, credentials as like media so I can go and like interview people? You know, Guabo, I absolutely could have yeah. if you had had that idea in February. Okay. Right. But it's already <laughs> he's over. He still can. He still, he still can, can, right? I, I, I can try to grease some palms. But usually you have to submit Reason. by, oh, by like the first yeah, of March. Jack wait, Apple hey, loves you so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, you know what, Guabo? I'm gonna head to the commerce. I'm gonna head to the commerce at the end of May, and I'm gonna see if I can uh, brush elbows with some higher ups. And gotcha. uh, yeah. thank you, sir. I'm sure they would welcome us there with open arms. Yeah, any, anybody fucking there is gonna answer you. Oh man, I might be able to backdoor it though. Um, because we're going to need some live reporting Listen, for the, uh, for be, the land and uh, Becker thing. Yeah, be, between, between PokerGo, right, who already has credentials, PokerOrg, uh, which we have some loose affiliate, I, I think there's a way we could probably back into it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, we're, we're probably too late to submit for our own media pass. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Which is... Everybody, you know. t- text Jack, ra- man. Rally. Text Jack. To I'll say text sorry. Danielle, and <laughs> she'll say, Jack fucking hates you. <laughs> <another."> <laughs> well... He should do a better job. We only promote the series like every day for right. multiple yeah. weeks. Yeah, who's be- look? Jack we, doesn't hate we us. We are He's not great. watching this show. He does sometimes. He didn't hear a word you said we, yesterday. Yes, he did. <clears throat> we are yeah, we are just <laughs> back. the beacon of truth here. We call it like we see it. You know, both sides. What did you say? Nothing that- good. Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> we really screwed the pooch on All this right. I mean, WSOP <laughs> circuit thing. Called okay? it like it is. But like, you know, when you when you give an interview and you say, uh, you know, these guys all won ring events to get into the free roll. Obviously, they're not losing players, so they can afford to go to Los Angeles. Oh. You can't say that. Yeah, that's not Yeah. Good. Like, somebody definitely won a $400 buy-in for like $2,600 that was all going into their makeup, and now all of a sudden yeah, they have to like fly that away. Satellite players. Yeah, or... like, yeah, pretty tone deaf. Guapa, yes, the answer is no. Sorry. All right, no worries. <laughs> so, no, Guapa's leaving us for Poker World. The other answer is, who the fuck is going to kick you out? Just go there with a the camera and yeah, do your thing, man. Right. Sure. Well, the now, rest of us will all be in the halls, too. Just follow around, uh, uh, what's his name, Ma- Ma- Masato. Masato. Oh, yeah, Masato. 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 I'm his cameraman. cameraman. He yeah. just had a fucking gang of people in fucking on the cruise. <laughs> Yeah, his yeah, like cameraman was Wait, Masato friends. was on the cruise? Yeah. I no way. Saw How do you not see five Asian Bro. men? He was in a, in a penthouse I hallway. never left. I, I never left three areas. I was on oh, floor yeah, fi- yeah, okay, I was literally okay. on floor 15 the entire mm. cruise. Dude, I never. Gym, penthouse, food. Yo, I thought, they were, I thought they were like a gang. I thought they were like, you know, the way they were running the hallways, it was like five, six of them and him. They, they were just like, and they, like, the way they walked, Masato is in the front, and then you got two right here, two right here, one in the back. Masato's you know, like, the They best. were straight gangsters, bro. If, if I had to, like, <laughs> if I had to start a poker project from scratch tomorrow, and they were like, okay, you can pick one person 
to be like the main character, the leading role. I think he would be very close to being top of the list. He For seems what? like he has like very good energy. Very doesn't good. matter. Just like whatever, whatever poker project it is. Okay. Like I'm just thinking like from a versatility standpoint, right? Like obviously if you're starting a high stakes stream, you would maybe want Garrett or if you're starting like a, uh, a tour bus across the world, maybe you want Rampage. I don't know. But like if you just get the general role out of like, okay, somebody needs to be featured in a poker project for the next 365 days. Masato might be my guy. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. very personable. He's nice. He's good enough at the game that you care. And he's very good on camera. Like, very I happy. I, take, I think I'll take Jungle Man. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's just too much. Your think, hands are full. Yeah, I, I think I can handle it. He sleeps at the table. Yeah, but that's 70% content, percent of the time baby. That is good content. That's you know, probably was the best. He wears outfits. Oh, you know, that he was catchphrases. Like, he, he's good at yeah. poker. That was like, some of the best GG, um, game of gold content there was, him sleeping, honestly. Like, everybody got yourself. a kick out of it. I mean, yes, it's funny the first time. The second I will time. say that. The second time, eh, it's a little bit less. <laughs> um, big shout out to our sponsor this week, Champions Club. They are bringing the Poker Go Tour to Houston, Texas. I'll be there. Uh, we actually mm -hmm. might all be there. Oh, really? Oh. So I spoke with Isaac. He said that we can do the podcast on site. They're already set up. It's I don't on think. Site. I don't think we would have to bring much in the way of equipment. Um, maybe nothing, to be quite honest, to lure you, Guapo. I was going to say, Guapo's having a heart attack right He's now. Like, His fucking God, blood no. mail is boiling right He's now. So if, if I have to take a part and set this up again. I can't believe I found out this way. <laughs> exactly. He's like, you told me this on the podcast? He's dying he inside right now. But he is fucking dying. I found out. Uh, so I have an engagement May 1st to the 3rd, which <laughs> the Champions doesn't end until I think the 5th of May. Um, so I was like, oh, I can't go. Yeah, it's May 24th to May 5th. So I was like, oh, I can't go. Like, I'm going to miss everything. April he goes, 20. or sorry, April 24th to May 5th. Uh, so I was texting with him. I was like, yeah, I can't come. I would like to, though. It seems like a great series. He goes, oh, well, you can just come for the main. I was like, when does the main end? He goes, April 29th. And I'm like, I might be in. I could be in for that. Uh, so perhaps there's a chance we find ourselves in Houston. Melissa's for sure going to be there. I'm a wag. Yeah. Living the wag life. Wow. Mm. Just I was it. in the studio today. They're like, oh, are you playing? I'm like, no, I'm a wag. <laughs> just here to hang out. <laughs> just hanging out. For those they, who... They were, they were going to me. They're taking shots of me, like shouting me out. Like, oh, she's she's sweating her man. Blocking you in the chat. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't follow sports culture, wag is wife and girlfriend section in, yes. the, uh, mm -hmm. in the cheering in the cheering. Yeah, it was area. me and Cherish. We were just hanging out mm. on the rail. Mm. It's a good company. Um, so if we go, or if we don't go, it won't really matter. The main event will still be starting April 24th. Two million guarantee uh, flights running every day. I think there are four flights, A, B, C, D. Uh, it might be four regular flights and a uh, fifth flight for a turbo, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Um, <clears throat> they're also running uh, other PGT, um, P I almost said PGT tour events. Uh, Poker Go Tour events. So there are a bunch of 5Ks and I believe a couple of 10Ks to round out the schedule. All of these do count for the PGT uh, leaderboard. So a lot of people there are going to be chasing points. This is going to give you the cheapest opportunity to get yourself in the running for the end of year million dollar free roll. Uh, don't get me wrong, that free roll isn't going to be super soft, but it is free money. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, it looks like Oh, wow, they're running way more than that. Flight H. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Eight. Eight main event flights. That's dope. That's expensive. So I'm... All right, I, I'm back out. I can't play eight. <laughs> I can't play eight fucking flights. And if I'm there, I'm, if I'm, there, I'm going to play eight flights for I, sure. I, there'll be some big cash games running. Maybe. I mean, what do you mean? Well, there will be if I'm there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm really One curious about... How their um the structure looks for this main, because like well I can tell you yeah because what would you like to know I want to know when they bag because if it's after eight that's such a or it's seven I think it is after seven it's annoying okay so let's see uh bag day one players will receive a food voucher in case you were wondering nice uh thirty dollar food voucher let's fucking go Le so I, it looks like if you enter on time you do not pay the full tournament fee which that's that's always nice awesome for a 3500 that's cool that's right um let's see that's 
the wrong structure. Okay, here we go. Main event. We got... Uh, so it looks like day one is Wednesday through Sunday. They're running eight structures, as we said. Um, eight it's, flights. Or eight flights, as we said. Sorry. Uh, 200 admin fee, 100 to the staff. Prize pool is guaranteed at 2 million. Start with 60,000 in chips. You can level, or sorry, register until level 13, which is the 2K, 4K level. So it looks like you can register until 15 big blinds. Uh, day one levels will be 40 minutes with a break every three levels. Day one turbo flights will be 20 minutes with a break every six levels. Uh, and I've been then, there on the turbo flight. I yeah. can't do a full day. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a long day. <laughs> uh, it looks like day two and the final tables will both be 60 minutes. So is day two? And yeah, it's only a two full day event. So uh, however many people bag and make it to Monday, that's the final day. So they're in the money probably? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, I like that. That's for sure. Cool. You'll play so. to the money. Um, yeah, day one flights will play to the money, which is approximately 12% of the field. Day two will introduce the PGT shot clock. Um, tables are seated nine-handed and switched to eight, no later than the close of registration. Uh, day two redraws will occur within 24 players, 16 and nine. And then uh, the final table will be streamed on PokerGo. What are the levels? 40 minutes? 40 minutes day yeah. one, 60 minutes day two. Nice. That's, I like that structure a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it's a really good structure. I have, I have a sneaky suspicion the field might be too big to finish in two days. I mean, it will either run till 7 a.m. My immediate thought was running to 8 a.m. So, like, it will e either run till... On day eight, one? Huh? On day one? Oh, no, on day two. Oh, it might, it might run... No, yeah, it wouldn't run that late on day one. It will run to, like... Two, three in the morning, probably. Oh, or oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. On day two. Okay, I think it's a three-day event. Okay, that makes more sense. Sunday day one H Turbo is at eight a.m. So my best guess is that probably ends at like three p.m. And then and day, then day two, two begins. At, yeah, okay, that makes so sense. So day two probably begins mid-afternoon, and then the final table on Monday. That okay. makes way more sense. Um, yeah, I assume that they're going to be reasonable days. Yeah. All the PGT. Uh, stuff at the studio usually ends by like 2 a.m. at the latest. Okay. So you're usually looking at like a 10 to 12 hour day. Uh, all right, I'm back in. Yeah, <laughs> that all seems very cool. I'm back. Um, you know what? There are four turbo flights. Those are the four that I will be playing. I don't need a good day one structure. Yeah. I just need to win my flips. Yeah, let's just like win some flips, get a big stack for yeah. day two in a really short amount of time. That's right. <laughs> four hours. Get me there. Yep. Let's fucking roll, baby. Like um that. yeah i'm excited for this have you guys been to houston before uh -oh. yeah i went once you were yeah never been nope ironically that was we were champions yeah that was the previous champions That's same owners to... previous no i went for something else you went to the wrong airport no no yeah this when i was we... leaving i went to the wrong airport. <laughs> <laughs> but but you didn't go for something else we were all there for the champions 1100 oh really <clears throat> oh yeah i was there as like uh a sponsored pro or whatever That's but right. you were there with uh <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> I remember. And uh, <laughs> I think you guys ended up at like some down. Were you a Johnny Chance Club at one point? Studio Fifty Two or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I think it got shut down now. Well, I think it's new ownership. That was the one where he went. Ill, uh, he was uh, not solvent. Oh, remember? Do you remember this a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody bought him out, and I think everything got cleared up. But yeah, I'll oh. be playing cash there probably. I'll be checking out all the uh, nice. all the best barbecue pits that Houston has to offer. I thought you were barbecuing. In Houston? We might just have a barbecue off on the fucking set. Oh, I mean, you versus some local Houston, don't, Houstonians? Don't threaten me fun. with a good time. Man, that'll be really fun. For us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fun for we approve of this idea. Immediately, yeah. the guy who comes in and cooks wet meat loses. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't he know it. He put like a drop of sauce, and you're like, absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> He just thinks he made the best barbecue of his life, and I'm like, no, I, Texas, no. Texas, they're they don't they're not they're wet, dry they're, not, they're not wet meat kind of people. That's right, right? It's it's, it's salt, very it's salt there. and pepper on the brisket. You know, then fuck with the sauces. Oh, he'll love that then. Yeah, my kind of people. Mm -hmm. I'm By here the way, for this. to add to the who's cooking, Sam passed two million in cashes, and he's been playing tournaments for less than two years. Wow! Wow! Pretty sick. wow. Very, okay. very good, sir. Is that that's mm -hmm. more than Becker? That's more than Becker. <laughs> wow, yeah. you've done it! Congrats, <laughs> <laughs> you really made it, kid. You made it. You really made it. We're all proud. We're of also you. proud mm -hmm. of you. Halfway to my fucking twenty-year total. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh, man, I'm going to have to get in these streets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dropped the ball yesterday. This one's on me. And uh, I take full blame because I was just never an online guy. But we knew it was tax day. What we mm. forgot was it was the biggest day in maybe poker history since Moneymaker won. Has it won. always been on tax day? Yeah. yeah. Kind of ironic. April 15th, they dropped the fucking hammer on I just my extension on, on my phone right before this started. <laughs> I think like, they, shit. yeah. I think, I think they... Um, they did that on purpose. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah, that wasn't a coincidence. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the reasoning for it was, but they definitely were intentional with it. Yeah. Uh, do you know where you were on Black Friday? Yeah, I was at Coachella. What year was it? Mm. 2011? 2011, yeah. I was in high school. God. Doing whippets. Yeah, that's um, crazy. Something like that. Yep. Actually, correct, yes. <laughs> I, pretty... I, was, I was doing balloons out of a nitrous uh -huh. tank at someone's house. In... Yep their backyard um, you guys see taylor and travis at coachella this year no they were there no, with Teresa judice from the real housewives of new jersey i mean man my worlds were colliding why was i not there where, where the hell did this come we're talking you know, about black friday we're talking about whippets we're you talking about black friday you just <laughs> come out oh you you were, were, travis Kelsey that's because I, I was at coachella when this happened really i was there with brent hanks phil collins brandon garrity and uh yeah we wake up that morning and it was like uh guys oh man being yeah, around Brent at that in. point would have been great i was yeah, playing was one wild. two i'm pretty sure and it was like eight in the morning we found out i'm yep. pretty sure yeah i was i was in new orleans i just landed for a bachelor party my buddy that i played baseball with who wasn't even a poker player but just kind of like a poker fan calls me and he's like do you hear what happened i'm like no like it's over they shut everything down i'm like what do you mean he's like full tilt uh poker stars they shut everything down the government seized everything and i was just like no come on you just don't know what the fuck you're talking about obviously go back to my hotel room try to log in yep see FB, the fbi warning yeah FBI. see the warning mm -hmm. my immediate reaction jubilation <laughs> i was like oh my god it's finally over <laughs> <laughs> we're all Everybody gonna play live now <laughs> I was like, this is going to be the biggest World Series ever. It didn't quite work out that way, did it? Yeah. Um, it did in the near term. Definitely not in the long term. Although, I'd say we're fucking back. I mean, we, we're definitely back right now. Yeah, we're so back. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're booming right now. Um, online, not so back. Online yeah. never really... It had no. its brief moment during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah but that's because couldn't leave your house and it was so really it was a really unhinged time yeah. like that might have been one of the darker days for online poker that we just weren't really privy to oh for sure the like, amount of cheating and there stealing. was absolutely so much bad shit happening but we were just like whoa look how big the fields literally, are literally all of our content <laughs> for the last two years has just been catching up on all the shit that happened during, during the, the pandemic, pandemic yeah. Yeah. also like sure. bitcoin was like booming right i think well, yeah. at times so there was so much more liquidity people had yeah well, here we are now. It's booming again, buddy. Yeah. I mean, it's down a little bit, but yeah. online poker, not, not so back. <laughs> mm. If I was buying, if I was buying and selling, I would buy live, sell, sell online. Yeah. yeah. Pretty clear. Short yeah. online. Online's a meme stock. It's true. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. Yeah. It's not looking good. Unless no. you're Corgasm. Well, you know, I'm <laughs> not Why saying. Why Corgasm <laughs> cooked? Why didn't we put him in Goose Cook? He cooked yes, yesterday. He cooked yesterday. Yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. obviously didn't watch yesterday's I didn't. episode. I didn't. <laughs> I only watched the ones I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Why <Wow>, jerk off? <laughs> yeah. uh, Liar. Like, so cool. <laughs> from in the, the chat all the time. From the community, <laughs> uh, a lot of people recalling where they were. Garrett says, in the spirit of many others offering up Black Friday stories, 4-15-11 forced me to decide between moving abroad to play high stakes heads up online, play live, or quit. After almost quitting for the hundredth time, I chose live poker and moved to LA. It worked out pretty well. I'd say so. It'd be interesting to hear a follow up uh, where he was on his own personal Black Friday part two, which ironically was a Friday. He was in his mansion, like S September thirtieth, two thousand twenty-two, having his like shoulders massaged and the cucumbers on his eyes. Or something. No, he was at the Hustler Casino. I just want to. Oh. I just want to know. Uh, well, it's after. No, it was when he got banned with his Black Friday. Like he got banned like the next day, right? So he it was got Black like Saturday. Soft banned, right? He didn't actually ever. Yeah, get he never actually got banned. banned. He's, he's banned the way that I'm banned. Yeah, like you uh, just stop putting him in lineups. But what's it gonna matter? Whatever, the whole thing goes down in flames anyway. Uh, you know? It's not too long, probably. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're all back, baby. We're back. We're so back. We're so fucking back. <laughs> fucking failed streamers everywhere. 
and streamers. God, and you guys want to stream for the 500th episode. Don't you know that we're failed streamers here? What are you doing? Yeah, do sure. That's because that's because we wait till the last minute to, uh, you know. That's that true, Brian. You're right. <laughs> Honestly. Nothing would make me happier than us getting this together for the 500th episode. Obviously, just like, you know, running a stream game while we podcast or whatever. And then hearing these idiots be like, oh, you're so up on stream security. How I is know. this okay? <laughs> you guys aren't even running on a delay. Actually, we're all friends, so we don't yeah. care. Like, actually, we're cheating each other. Yeah. What the fuck actually, is the difference? Actually, cheating's allowed on We're ours. literally yeah. doing a podcast yeah. right now. Yeah. We should let Jeddo come play. <laughs> Not worth it. Let, <laughs> we should just let her come sweat red or black on the she, would she would definitely be just in run for props. that. Yeah, she yeah. would be the prop master. That would actually She'd be great. Uh, Dan Zach says in the in the Twitter theme of posting about Black Friday's ten year anniversary. Ten year. This is thirteen years. Yeah. All right, you're a little off, but that's fine. We'll forgive you. <laughs> Ten years but every year. Black Friday might have saved my life. At the time, I was eight years into a crippling gambling addiction and depression, oh constantly my. stealing my parents' credit oh cards. And is this actually is this real? true? I didn't know this about him. Uh, again and again, while staying up till 6 a.m. on school. I mean, I guess he was like in high school, so it probably makes some sense. Wow. Despite an endless negative feedback loop, I was convinced I was going to turn it around and become a professional and secretly plan to skip college for online poker. Black Friday forced me to abandon that plan for the first time in nearly a decade of poker uh, that wasn't the dominant use of my time. I feel strongly looking back that I wouldn't have made it had that cycle continued, and I'm so grateful for that break and everything that came with it. I think it's always important to remember when discussing the legality around these types of things that there are these types of dark cases do exist and to not dismiss them entirely. Happy anniversary. Oops, it's been 13 years. <laughs> so it sounds I like... I did not know that about it. I would never I, have guessed that. I would have never guessed either, yeah. but I was actually thinking about this earlier today because I saw, I think, poker... Uh, you know that poker Twitter account on uh, IG? It just like reposts certain tweets. <laughs> no. Okay, it's like a meme account. I think it's okay. called Poker Twitter. I'm pretty sure. And it posts like just certain tweets from the poker community that it finds to be ironic or funny or whatever. I can't remember who it was, but somebody tweeted something to the effect of, imagine if there were no regulations around the age to gamble. How many parents who are teaching their kids to be grandmasters would instead be teaching their kids to be poker superstars? Uh, just imagine a World Series main event final table with a bunch of 12-year-olds. It would be, be adorable. hilarious, but... I think it would still have the same like a seedy reputation. So, so I don't know that parents would be rushing to get their kids gambling. Well, there are a lot more of Dan Zach stories out here than I realize. Not just the downfall, but like the age. Mm -hmm. Like Sean Winter started playing when he was 11. Yeah. I had no clue that that was a thing. Like yeah. I was 21 and I had no option to it prior. So like it didn't even strike me as a mm -hmm. thing. But I think what's important to talk about with that tweet of like, oh, well, imagine if there wasn't regulation and we could just start doing this at age eight or whatever the difference between chess and poker is that there's massive amounts of risk involved in poker and there's a large downside to it that can't be ignored um you know uh, a much less dark version of dan zach's story is one similar to my own where you're just constantly beating your head against this negative feedback loop cycle where it's it's very 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 close between being somebody who is good enough to make it professional and on a bad streak versus being a degen yeah who has no fucking clue what they're doing and how to climb themselves out of a hole yeah and i don't think it can be ignored that the way the human brain works in a gamified environment is to chase the carrot on a string you know like you you can't just create free reign to do this with absolutely no guardrail whatsoever. It took me a decade plus to really understand variance and to truly understand risk profile and how to be a little bit less risk on or more risk averse, yeah. you know? Also your prefrontal cortex is like not formed until right. you're 25. Right. When you're 25. Now imagine if you're 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you're just I had like a four ready year to wait. risk it all. <laughs> right. I had like a four year wait. And I'm at least coming from poverty, which curbs the risk yeah, profile a right. little bit. These kids are, what, well, they got a 16 year wait to fucking develop and they're going to do so in a gambling environment. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're just going to be degens your I whole life. I used to degen on like Neopets. <coughs> by, they had scratch cards on Neopets. Oh, that was like a, you yeah. could purchase an app or whatever? No, it wasn't real money. Oh, I was, okay, like, okay. Gambling with points. So I think that this is something that, 
uh, kids probably fall victim to now with yeah. all the in-app purchases. Oh, about yeah, crypto? Roblox. Think about crypto. Yeah, there's a lot of like, yeah. I'm in a lot of crypto groups though, where there's like a lot of like 15, 16 year olds that are just making like hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars. Think yeah. if there was crypto when, when we were like in high school. We, <laughs> I might have made it. We either be Route. super rich or I may have made it. Maybe yeah. Or the opposite. I gotta tell you, I may have made it. Yeah. Maybe I was really poor and really hungry and like yeah, just sharp just enough with math stuff. Spend mm -hmm. twelve hours in the trenches a day. Yeah. Like you're gonna. Yeah, I as may long have as you made survive, it. you'll hit something. <laughs> I may have made it. I also may have be like fucking mm -hmm. totally out of it. I, I could just be like a social recluse, recluse right 100%, now. Hundred percent. Yeah. Just you know. Yeah, these yeah. Guys if you are make it, you still just might be like totally oh, these gone. These guys that are making it at that age are definitely like social recluses. Right. I would have fucking loved crypto at that age. You wouldn't have made it. I was. <laughs> listen, either I would have confidently got, say that. I would have made either, it. I would have got. I think you say that event if put a very either. sound investment in Visa Metaverse. <laughs> he he would have made, made it and then know. not. <laughs> shit happens. I got caught with a little yeah. honey pot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't uh, laugh, but you know, shit happens <laughs> in these streets, and then. Everybody mm -hmm. that's been in the streets got caught in a little honey pot. That's right. Side. That's right. <laughs> you ain't shooting your shot. You ain't, you ain't right. fucking hitting. What are you talking drugs, about? Come you're ahead. not gambling you're enough. You're going to miss 100 you times to hit once, million, you know? He would have had 10 million plus and then zero like 15 times. He been Yo, the you guys don't know how much I was in a computer between the ages of like 11 and 15. Like I spent, if I wasn't playing sports, I was on my computer. I got kicked out of school for writing a teacher, uh, uh, writing an email from a teacher's e Writing an email from a teacher's email to three students in the class. <laughs> like, I got literally Hacked expelled from school. He, he 100% would have been the Archie Karras uh. of, of, like, young crypto. Do you know this story? Yeah. yeah. He was, like, he was like, the yeah. biggest gambler Vegas has ever seen. He turned, like, no money into $50 million and then ran it all the way down to zero. Or $40, 40, million. 40 million. Some of the stories Ran it all the way see, right back to zero. Playing crypto, craps, right? Like, yeah. I mean, he probably played everything. Conrad look responsible. For like, sure. They're, the people on there are just... Like punting hundreds of thousands of dollars like every day. I don't yeah. know where they get it. From. I mean, well, they start with ten dollars, they run up to a hundred k, and then they just keep heaving it yeah. over. They never get risk yeah. off. That's yeah. why they never risk off. Right. It, it's 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 the simple uh, like Me and notion Mama Joe of are like scrape it. We're like <laughs> we're like chipping away at little pieces of, and we're just like building our our piles. But we we well, like we're like we'll never reach the moon. Uh, no. we're, too, yeah. we're two paper hands. Yeah. Well, it's just like uh, you know I talked to uh, I've spoken to Conrad about this a bunch. Of, it's the idea of gambler's ruin where if you never de-risk eventually you'll always hit zero it's yeah. it's inevitable right? right that's just like the way compounding numbers work and i think it, they start chasing the feeling instead of ch like trying to reach a goal or something they're right. instead like oh well this amount doesn't give me a feeling anymore because if right. i just made this I, much yeah. so i gotta right. like if, you, if you're risking a hundred percent of your bankroll to start with and you only de-risked it to now that you've 10x you're still risking like half yeah you haven't de-risked so, enough you no. know like you're just leaving yourself you're no gonna be back at zero really really soon Right. And the thing with Conrad is too, I know how this would have happened. His version of de-risking is diversifying. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not actually taking risk off the table. It's yeah. just spreading it's it out. Spreading it's, out. It's, it's literally multiple coins. He, and he, can't, he can't even keep track of them anymore. Yeah, he has no clue. He has no idea where all the money is. <laughs> no. It's literally playing roulette and covering the board. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to win, baby. Well, I'm not covering the board. You know, I'd pick the I'd leave the greens off, I'd of course. Pick, exactly, obviously. I'd and it's green. Yeah, so you can get, so you can get guys, scooped like 5% of the guys, time. I only play one, three, five, seven, eleven. So those are my five numbers. Okay. All right. right you know, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't go crazy. No, I hear you, man. Yeah. I hear you. I got a very good sound roulette. Very strategy. sound strategy. Yep. Actually, sounds good. Um, if you guys want me to teach it to you, no, I'm no. one hundred and ninety nine dollars for my twenty Join minute course. Paid group. Hard Join fucking my pass. Paid group. Hundred percent have a paid group. He's head started in crypto for sure. Oh, he would have so many Telegram <laughs> and groups. And he, he would just he would probably be rich because he'd be just like pumping and dumping through his paid. Group. I would never do that. That is so fucking dirty. Well, you like, say that, that now. Is... Wait till you lose forty million. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I don't give Wait till give you get a, a nice offer to shill yep. fucking guys, steak .com. stinky rascals coin. <laughs> stinky <laughs> rascals. Guys, guys. And Wait, they give you 100K. Wait till steak.com gives you 10K to fucking gamble slots away. How fast you become a shill. Don't you talk about Ryan DePaulo like that, <laughs> you fucking ass. He wouldn't come on the show. I can say whatever I want. All right, fine. <laughs> Fuck you right now. <laughs> uh, two more quick Black Friday stories. Josh Arie says, the week leading up to Black Friday, the games on full tilt were great. 204 was going all week, even with some 2K 
4K Omaha 8 or better running regularly. That was the top I, in hindsight. That was peak mm -hmm. for sure. I recently won a Poker After Dark seat worth 30000 and was planning to fly to London on Sunday for the filming. I had 180 k plus the 30 k Poker After Dark oh, seat in my no. account when I woke up Friday. Woke up to lots of frantic texts and people asking all around if I had heard anything. Being that I was a full tilt red pro, I guess everybody thought I had info they weren't privy to. After some phone calls, I was assured that Poker After Dark was a go and I should fly to London as planned. Flew to London, car picked me up to take me to the hotel that was two and a half hours away. Checked into the hotel and was told a car would be there in 15 minutes. Don't get in the car. We've canceled all remaining tables. Uh, incomplete shock and with nobody answering my calls I decided to rent a set of golf clubs play nine holes and see what happened after that I played nine holes on a shitty course made some unanswered some more unanswered calls and then took a cab back to the airport flew home so in the end I lost about 48 hours of my life and was also never returned my money from full tilt the DOJ said I need proof that I want it and not that it was income from the site I'm mostly mad about the travel and the stupidity of management to still run the event the end Wow. Mm. Chance Corneth quote tweets my Black Friday story I was playing a bunch of 200, 400 PLO because Josh was in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Had a massive percentage of my net worth stuck online. Got it all back years later. No questions asked. That's hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, well done, Chase. <laughs> did people actually get like all their money back? Uh, almost everybody did. Oh, that's yeah. good. Except the, the only people who didn't were the full tilt pros. Wow. Because they weren't allowed to get their salary. Huh. So like Josh said, basically you had to prove that you that were is the pro making of money. Not being a pro. Uh, it ruined some people. Like Eric Lindgren <laughs> was getting like a million a month back then. Ah. What? Just like a I feel massive. Like that might happen with like God forbid, but I feel like it might happen with steak. Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Because people are getting paid that much plus. Like they're getting right. paid like some of those streamers are getting paid like five million a month and stuff. When when shit goes insolvent, what's left? Just somebody holding the bag. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, but yeah, like, and you know, when you're getting a million a month guaranteed like that, you live like it. Yeah. I was actually just talking about this with a couple of people in game where we were talking about our spending habits when Bitcoin goes on a bull run. And Lifestyle creep, they call it. Yeah. And a lot of us were like almost bragging that like, oh yeah, after the last time uh, I learned my lesson and I haven't really changed my, my lifestyle at all in spite of the massive pump. Yeah. Like, and to be fair, I don't know that I changed mine at all last time either. Because I always see it as an insurance policy. Yours is more you're, when you're upswinging in poker, you'll just order a bunch of stuff on Instagram. Yeah, you're not yeah. like, you're yeah. not somebody that spends money on doing something. Like, do you have like a set kind of routine, what you do in your life that yeah. you just don't spend money outside Berkey of has a, He has this theoretical backyard, right? Yeah. And, 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 and when, when he's crushing it in poker, it's closer to it actually happening he without it actually happening. It. And then when he's on a downswing, he just knows it's not yeah. gonna It's true. Happen. I've been to the point of like, of, of like giving the deposit and you then like a downswing hits. You probably could have in the backyard by now with all the- No question. So many times. times. Nine, nine just times no over. question. <laughs> Uh, I, I could get, I could still get it today. It's just course, at some yeah. point, you know, you're you're on a half million down right. and you're like, do I really want to spend 150,000? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Phil's the response. Well, yeah, I could give bad. you a really good discount if you let me do it. <laughs> I was asking LaMana if he was I'm willing gonna, to I'm, work. We, you do want to team up? We yeah. Well, for like I mean, Bitcoin I'm laying down each. the concrete next week. <laughs> one Bitcoin each? What kind of fucking discount <laughs> is that? Getting, it's like a 10K discount. I'm yeah. getting a 10K discount for 99% like, work. Worth work. Worst work. Bitcoin might only be worth 50k uh, yeah, next we'll week. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to sure. get him to agree when it's slow. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. that, that, that's fine. I'll just buy another one to replace whatever I pay you. <laughs> with. That actually seems reasonable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think for me, I always viewed it as an insurance policy because it's like X percent of my net worth, and I have no intentions of liquefy or liquidating it. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, oh, it goes way up. We're more insured. Yeah. So yeah. I can do more lifestyle things. Like yeah. I don't have to play 2000 hours this year because, Hey, I got this big insurance policy. Mm -hmm. and then it goes down and it's like, motherfucker, where's the next game? <laughs> <laughs> Driving the fucking middle of nowhere, Louisiana. Like you guys got 50, a hundred out here so anywhere. I'm trying to grind up shit coins. I'm like, all right, uh, it's low. So I can make 10 now. And right. Then Right. How are them JPEGs doing? Do we need to get back in those streets? Mama Joe's got you back in there. Did you see the song for why JPEG? I, I <laughs> fell for I it. I was believe like, it. you know why I fell for it? Because it was such a shit job. Of, <laughs> yeah. Of, of, it uh, wasn't even a transparent background. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a bad Photoshop job that I was like, this actually might be real. So yeah. Joanne sent us um, a 
what do you call it? NFT, NFT. Yeah. Uh, picture of NFT, and it had the uh, software wide pads on. It was a little guy with self software wide pads, and Berkey goes, "Is that real?" <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I thought we hit big time. No, I mean, the, the JPEGs are back, but they're back on Bitcoin. Mm, okay. People are buying the ordinals Good. like yeah, hotcakes. Let's, yes, let's get in there. The, those stupid Bitcoin puppets that I, I will cry the rest of my life because I sent in our chat, hey, does anyone want to chop a Bitcoin puppet? Like, for, they're like 3K, and just, I just got crickets, and now they're a half a Bitcoin. Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. You gotta, you gotta lobby a little harder. I, I'm I don't not, lobby hard for my bags. I will say that. I, I just like, well, if you guys quick want. Quick 10x. I mean, she it's did. not gonna take much arm twisting for me to give you $1,500 for some gamble. I know. This is what I was trying to tell Mama Joe. She like sends me a screenshot the other day of, uh, uh, of this coin that's pumping. And I go, oh baby, are we rich? And she's like, no, where that S is is where I sold. <laughs> <laughs> she has so many of so those. It, We're making a scrapbook. Uh, <laughs> she sends them all the time. It, oh, it, no. it is like 6X and she got out at like 2.5X. Yeah. And I go, oh, that sucks. But like, you know, how much did we make? She's like, I was only in for 600. I'm like, who fucking cares? <laughs> I love Mama we Joe. didn't miss out on anything. It's like twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> I want more zeros. She, wants the moon. She, wants she the moon. is the best. Man. Be in for six thousand. I know she'll send me ones, and it's like buy, sell, and then it goes straight up. <laughs> yeah. after. I'm, like, I'm like, why are you paper handings for peanuts for six hundred dollars? You can hold it till I die. I don't yeah. care. Right. <laughs> Fucking get in yeah, there. Either a million or just hold. Yeah, it. like get us the seven figures. That's all I want is a free seven it's figures. Probably Bitcoin puppet. Probably the way. I, this is the thing. I just want money that I have no business having. <laughs> right. That I, I don't deserve it. I didn't do anything to earn it. I have no fucking business. There's a lot of it out there. I mean, honestly, every dollar I've ever made in crypto feels that way. I was going to say, yeah. didn't you sell XRP at the top? I sold XRP at like $3. <laughs> yeah. Bought it for 40 cents. Didn't Same. deserve a fucking penny it's of it. It's about 60 cents right now. Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't in. deserve anything. Oh, yeah, five <laughs> Re-enter. Re-enter. Let's go. <laughs> Reinvest. I'm still holding on to Litecoin. I think oh, it has a no. future. <laughs> oh, no. That usually pumps at the very end. Yeah, That's how people know right. it's over with yeah. Litecoin pumps. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll get it. I have 100 Litecoin. I'm just chilling with All them. All right. That's good. I don't yeah, know. What, I mean, hey, who we'll knows? See. Maybe in the future, 2049. How much is it worth? Right Litecoin now? to the moon. Probably 80 bucks. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. I yeah, have no idea. Bad. It peaked at like 200. I couldn't. Sell I mean, it. everything's down the last couple of days. Yeah. So, yeah let's see. Let's, it's so let's, over. Let's see. Right Litecoin now, is. You know what? It has to be so over before it can be. Yeah. So Seventy-seven. That's true. Okay. I was right. I said eighty bucks. I'm not hey, that far off. Just guessing. Yeah, bucks. Um. All right. Uh. We forgot, but big shout out to Landon. He's in the final four of the uh, 10K heads up. Okay, Landon. In Florida. His match should be coming up shortly. Um, so fingers crossed that, oh man, what's this going to do for the bet? He just goes and fucking plays the toughest goddamn event Florida's ever seen. Is any I, of this I just want to know what Kessler will say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Becker's there and he didn't play it. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, only 24 right. people played this event. So it really doesn't 26, matter. 20, 26. Only, only 26 people played 26 this event. 26 are the best in the world. So no, it does really doesn't matter. Cause but Landon can only, only beat the best well, world. He can't only, beat bad players. Only 80 people played that high roller that Becker got second in. And Kessler claimed that it was 80 of the best players in the world. And I look at the it list. <laughs> it was a fucking 3K. <laughs> I look at the list and it's just like a dozen fucking shit regs <laughs> that are just like, you know, this is a shot for them. It's like, what are we talking about? Well, I think you just dream of high. I roller this. onto anything as long as it's like 10x whatever the like you the know, average, average buy-in average buy yeah. right like the, the South Point could run like a the high roller right, like, big, but it's, it's a thousand dollar high roller like a normal high roller <laughs> a normal high roller has like billionaire whales in it because like that's the price point where they feel like gambling and you look at this high roller it's a 3k and it has like me yeah. <laughs> like hi I'm, here. I'm hi, just guys. balling out here I'm in for 10 <laughs> who cares <laughs> Oh, Christ. All right, I'm in the muck. Let's go. All right, we got another user submission today. It comes from uh, True Power. True? And true? True Power. Yeah, so they're playing 1-3. Uh, and they got the ace five of hearts, the old land. Oh, another ace five suited hand, Burke. Uh, so folds them on the button for about 100 big blinds effective. Big, they make it 10. Big blind calls. 
Now we get a good flop. It's the ace of spades, 10 of hearts, six of hearts. So top pair flush draw. And now the big blind just decides to Please. just lead her three quarters pot right into us because that's, you know, a thing. And uh, we call, turn, pairs board 10, not a, the best card for us. They lead again for pot. And uh, we go ahead and call. And the river is the three of hearts giving us the nut flush. Good. And they just pile in. Oh. And we call. And we are shown the 10 six of clubs for oh, the whole house. So, um, yeah, this hand, I mean, obviously, the I think, you know, flop. calling. I mean, yeah. So, like, I think where, where we're in the muck here is. Uh, on the flop, what to do when, you know, unexpected things happen. It's like, this is, but this is what happens in these lower stake games, right? Where, like, you, you almost never see, a, like, leads here, I don't think, very often. Right. Um, especially, you know, on that, that type of board. And yeah. then, and then yeah, they so come out for three-quarters pot right at you. When you do see it, you can, ex you can reasonably expect that it's not going to be balanced. Right. Not like and, 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 th and, and, you know, it's usually a hand like they had right bottom two like oh bottom two i gotta just you know protect my hand right away and build a pot and then you know the turn comes and and you know he he said that he was wondering if he could ever fold the river absolutely not <laughs> which is like this is a just base spot if it's ever a just base spot right um but you know it's like uh these players they just always have it and they probably had two pair of some sort on the flop so you know. Yeah, or he could just have like Queen of Hearts. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly, right. So it's just he just has enough hands flush. where yeah, you're you're just still beating them. I think he said something <laughs> along the lines of he wasn't he didn't have the top of his value, which I think he has the top of his value. Definitely has the top so, of his value. The top of the top. It's, top of the top. Yeah. Man, I've been seeing so much weird fucking desire to lead, and the thing is, is that <clears throat> what I'm noticing. Nobody does it with bluffs because they're so non-intuitive, right? Like leading out of float, like breaking float to lead is akin to check raising. It's just doing it for, for less dollars mm -hmm. and uh, doing it with the expectation that sometimes the original raiser will raise you. Uh, and it's so easy to carve out what hands are supposed to check raise for value, just as it's very easy to carve out what hands are strong enough to lead. But what's unclear is where that line stops. Right. So where what what is the weakest hand that's good enough to check raise? What's the weakest hand that's good enough to lead? And that's that's like where it's abundantly clear that people stink. Yes. They don't know how to check raise, so mm -hmm. they lead instead. And the leads are just as imbalanced as the check raising ranges. That's why they're choosing they're not to check like raise. Semi bluffs or value. Yeah. They don't check raise they don't have because like a lot of equity. <laughs> right. They don't check raise because they turn their hand face up. So what do they do instead? They lead because that looks like it could be more full of shit. Sure. Yeah. But it's just like, okay, well, what are we doing here? Obviously, when we look at the whiz, we're gonna see no leads in this spot. You don't have to go to it, yeah, Guapo. Um, but like we're gonna see no leads in the spot. So everything we run after that is gonna just be a dirty sim where we see what the fuck happens whenever this guy breaks theory. If Landon was here, he's like <laughs> <laughs> and the sim is broken because you know you're not supposed to do that. You're not allowed to do that, so the sim is broken. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to do some stuff here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, this guy's brain's broken, but the thing is, is that obviously there is some flawed logic that's taking place whenever they do choose to lead. So the the question does become very clear of like how should we respond i do think the sizing is something to look at with the leading for sure i feel like the smaller ones in my experience i always just raise them well this isn't they, small this i know is half that's, pot. What, that's right. what yeah, i'm yeah. saying it's three quarters it's, it's big but like i feel like the is smaller yeah. ones tend to be They're 15 you know, and 20 your like gutters and mm. stuff like that whereas like the bigger ones will be more like Two pair or mm -hmm. set or I, pair. You know, I totally agree with you. I, I see you stuff. see it all the time, right? They, they when the small bet is just always. I don't like. It's, it's always that some stupid gut Transparent. Shot. Yeah, and you they just really raise are. them and then they call and then mm -hmm. they give up. It's like a very common thing. Right. Like I'm not shocked at all. But the bigger all. one you don't see as much. I'm not shocked at all to see the the the, the uh, bottom two here, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously, it's it's a byproduct of. Uh, just not knowing how to check raise. So the question then becomes like, how should you respond to this? And I do agree with you whenever you're talking about small leads, 
uh, doing a lot of raising is pretty good. Mm -hmm. When you're facing these big leads, you just need to re like take advantage of the button. The, you're in position. The biggest edge that you have available yeah, I'm like, to you. I'm like, I just want to run it. <laughs> Yeah, this hand's good enough, obviously. Yeah. So we have top pair and a flush draw. I think when you flop a hand that has this much equity, it, it's hard to misplay it. I mean, obviously, you're, you can, you know. Um, I would say that trying to get it in is potentially a misplay. Like, all in. Uh, I would just well, the, at 100 big blinds deep? Yeah, I mean, yeah. just I mean, because. It's a misplay if the person doesn't have I mean, a bluff, right? Or even, even like, draws, <laughs> right? Like, the only reason you're to raise here. you against bottom two. What happens like we sure, don't have you're to doing fold pretty out. good calling calling the whole way through too, right? Um, because like if you raise this, then what what do you call that allows you to have uh like the ability to improve? Because like you're obviously raising all two pair plus. Mm -hmm. So like all a six, all ace ten, you absolutely have to raise your sets you should be raising as well. So like how do you improve to stronger hands uh if you're raising hands like ace five suited? I guess you just call with hands like ace king, but then you're susceptible to hearts peeling off and mm -hmm. all the action dying and slowing down. Uh, I will say that I do think that there's maybe an argument for raising um, just in the sense that uh, you don't get slowed down when a heart peels off. Like yeah. the deuce of hearts peels, 10 six is like they're assholes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's shitty to not stack you them. Just run it and stack them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, particularly with but like that's just like because I'm seeing that it's not super deep, so I'm right. like, well, we have less than 100 big blinds to start. Like. Particularly with like Ace Five, Ace Four, Ace Three, Ace Two, maybe I'd be more inclined. Um, but like whatever, I mean, Brian's point is pretty valid. Like you're so high up in your equity that it's difficult to misplay. It's just really important to bear in mind that like they are going to skew towards having nutted hands when they lead. Yeah. So we should bear that in mind whenever we're bluff catching. And we want to have like heavy blocking properties over their best hands. Number one, number two, we want to have the ability to redraw. So like, if you have a hand like, I don't know, Jack Ten here, just fold. Yeah, just fucking fold. Like, yeah. maybe I would peel Jack Ten of clubs. Maybe, and I even think that that's mm -hmm. like a little bit greedy because you're facing have, such a big bet. Yeah, they might just have Ace Ten. You're just like right. You know. Right. I mean, truthfully, that's probably Ace Six is probably like where they should be building the majority of their lead range out of. Um, so yeah, we can take a look in theory and we can see that it does play no leads. Um, <clears throat> and here's the other thing that I think is really important, uh, that a lot of people probably don't understand is that one of the biggest reasons that it plays no leads outside of being at a disadvantage is that you're facing a really large bet strategy by imposition. So, uh, the truth is in theory, um, this is actually a lot more symmetrical than I think people realize when it comes to. Uh, the overall equity, I guess it's not that symmetrical. Imposition has a pretty big advantage, 55 to 45. Um, and the EV is very substantial. But we, we yeah. do play a lot of check back here as, as in position. And you can see that just plays 3E, which is 103% pot. So it only is going to play big better check, which means that it's going to start to polarize very early. And a lot of these linear hands, you can see like the vast majority of the 10X doing no betting. Is that because our... our uh our nut advantage is so high in Correct. this situation. Yeah, it, it, you would see it being even more extreme if it was like ace-king six. Mm -hmm. So if we just right. changed the 10 to a king, um, it's probably going to be a very similar strategy. It's just now instead of 40% bets, we might have like something like 50% bets. So we'll slightly increase uh, because we will be betting a lot of the king x. Yeah. Where here we're betting like literally none of the 10x. Yeah. We're betting like 10-9 suited and 10-9 off. That's Kinda it. interesting that like this hand uh yeah that makes a lot of sense to me though um although i would have thought ace four would follow suit um i would have just thought like all the wheel hearts would do a heavy amount of checking with the exception of uh well i was gonna say a6 but obviously like that hand doesn't exist a6 hearts isn't real <clears throat> um but yeah i would have thought all the backdoor straights and i guess that makes some sense like five and seven much more relevant to backdoor straights than threes and fours right because the ace three, ace four, it's really only drawing to a backdoor uh, low end. Whereas like the ace five, the ace seven, you could backdoor four three. No. Wait, what, what am you, I talking talk, about? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no backdoors. There's the no backdoor for the five. There's backdoor yeah. for the seven. You can, you can backdoor yeah. eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I guess the five becomes a little bit more interesting to me then. 
For whatever reason, I was thinking of that backdoor Maybe straight draw. To do with, uh, I don't know. Vibes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, fives. You know. As far as like in the check raising range, I mean that 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 would be the majority of why uh, these hands choose to check is we'll see like what's raising. So like when you see what's raising, it's like jack five of hearts, which we would block, um, but that doesn't really matter. Eight five of hearts, which we block. So okay. like yeah, he's pulling some of the five x of hearts. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, from it from his raising range, which you obviously want to be check raised uh, by those hands that you dominate, and since you can't dominate them, maybe that has something to do with it. Um, but in any event, uh, in theory, like yeah, we're gonna protect our range with something. We have to have some nut flush draws that we check back. Uh, you can see aces does a heavy amount of checking back yeah, specifically just like all your yeah. pairs except for right yeah it tends to just unlocks the board uh so specifically when we have the ace of hearts we're we're a little bit more prone to betting um just because the the ev is going to be slightly higher with the backdoor nut flush draw but uh in any event yeah we play a very polar strategy when we lock this um i imagine we'll respond very polar as well so you can see that i had to I had to really ramp it up to start to get some ace-x in the betting range. Uh, so you can see it's only really choosing ace-9 as the single ace. Ace-10 obviously is in there. Uh, ace-10 off wants to do a fair amount of check raising, so it needs to protect itself, as does ace-queen, ace-jack. These are going to be good bluff catchers and check raises, uh, especially when facing a polar strategy. So you can see that like it doesn't really even want to include its strongest hands because it's so heavily incentivized to include them in traps and check raises facing that polar strat, right? Um, so when it does choose lead, especially for this large size, I imagine, oh, wow, it just goes off. We just <laughs> do not call. <laughs> no. You just Hell yeah. do yeah. not Hell call. Yeah. You said. Big dog is back, That's baby. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, listen, new. I know. I'm just fucking raising yeah. here. Fuck I'm, this I'm guy. Raising your That's ass. the reddest chart I've ever Big seen. Dog is that back. is some red ass. Yeah. That's red. So. Right. Uh, it's not folding Jack Ten suited. It, 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 folding it, shit. It's, it's fuck you raising it. <laughs> yeah, we're saying fuck your little lead. Is that say ten nine Let's all in? in? Okay, hold but, on. <laughs> Does that say ten nine? Ten nine eat suited this? is yeeting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even the back door. The other one, <laughs> right? <laughs> and just gets wrecked by the, 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 the other the ten one. six that should never I guess be leading. Because they'll lead them. back doors, so you. Want well, okay, God so damn. this is important to look at the lead range, right? So there isn't very much ace X we can tell. Um, uh, I guess let's break this down from a from a strategy standpoint. Uh, so the majority of the hands that are leading here are third pair. So starting with a six, the next is going to be draws, and then two pair, low pair, king high. So his lead range is obviously dick. Yes. That's the Dick problem. That's why right. it's like, in theory. In theory, right? In, don't try this in practice because right. you'll get wrecked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the machine, the machine well, is getting wrecked in the one. Right. So now we need line. to lock again, <laughs> and we just need to paint, and we need to paint it in a way where uh, it starts to make sense that I mean, these are the types of hands. Really in the weeds here. Of course, of course, but you know that's what this guy is doing. He's yeah. he's fucking in the weeds. I, I like the one that's all red. Uh, <laughs> of course you do. I mean, I'm with you for you what know? it's worth. But let's run it, baby. What are you leading? Some garbage I mean, what napkins. Good, he just doesn't have any good fucking hands. That's the problem. Where's ten? Yeah, they have hands that want to like. Where's ten? They want to off ten themselves ten. when you when you raise them. I mean, I guess six. They have like some weird there. middly equity. Like, wait, why know. does that it is true too? Like, he might know? may look at bottom two and be like, oh shit. Yeah, he just, <laughs> or he, he just has like bottom pair. Yeah. Like, Backdoor flush. Mm -hmm. like, well, he oh, doesn't ever have tens. I mean, to be fair, some, like some, some of these hands are probably gonna just bet. In see there. where I'm at. I would say, what is it? Ten, <clears throat> ace ten six. Give him some like seven eight. Is that in there? Let's do. Let's you guys do are this. being so generous. Let's do this. Let's <laughs> no, Guapo, I promise you, this happens with with uh like poopy gut shots. All right, let's say Not this. Not for this size, but let's say that he leads seventy five percent of his sets, all two pair. Let's say 25% of top pair. Um, no second pairs. No third pairs. And then let's say half of his flush draw. Let's say half of his flush draws and all of his combo draws. Yeah. Okay. So let's that looks right. Picasso. Yeah, we just out here painting, baby. <laughs> 
Right. Now you're not gonna be able. To I, I, now you're no, not gonna be able to. In. I bet we don't eat it here. You know, you're not gonna be able to just raise everything we're now. All in. I bet we don't eat it on him. No, now. you're just gonna call a lot. Okay, so he's leading so many. Hands. Okay, yeah. Now we're but calling the, a lot more. Is that a small more. size? There's a lot more green. Uh, no, seventy-one percent. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So now this uh, is a lot more. Okay, so okay, now look, it's look what at I the thought. Ace five. <laughs> raise it up. Yeah, you just fold a lot <laughs> and then you. What's call. the other ace fives that do most of the raising? It's okay, Aww. we're in there still. I rolled, we, we I rolled in low. There. Yeah, we rolled though. Okay, fine. Uh, so <laughs> this goes back to what I was indicating before. So now Jack-10, no backdoor, just plays as Razor Fold. Yeah. And I think that this is the, the hand to key in on, right? Because this is a good indication as to how you should be playing the majority of your range since this kind of represents middle equity, right? right? This is a hand that doesn't easily improve but obviously is winning at showdown should it check to you at yeah. a really high frequency, right? Yeah. Another good hand to key in on would be like jacks and queens, uh, kings. These are all just playing pure call. Mm -hmm. I would that be, makes sense. I would probably fold the ones that don't have hearts, to be quite frank. I just think like we're getting fucked here so bad. Yeah, I guess. I, guess I just I don't think we're seeing the nothing lead very often, you know? Uh we gave him all of his Not combo draws. Size, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just like, bro's coming the out bigger hard. Lead sizes. Um, so, like, the way to lean on this is pair plus backdoor. Uh, sorry, pair plus backdoor flush draw, <coughs> clear continue, right? Mm -hmm. Top pair, also clear continue. Outside of that, start folding a fucking ton. Your 6x all gets absolutely yeah, obliterated. Up too. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let him know. You really let them know it. Yeah. Um, so like this, the six X tends to lean on if it has multiple backdoor properties. So, uh, like King six of clubs, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw it's in the other King six is like, this is where you're bluffing from. Now, look, we are bluffing a fair amount. Um, and the reason for that is because like, we need to get maximum value for a hand like ace King, a hand like ace queen, et cetera, et cetera. But I would estimate these hands probably aren't doing as well in practice as no. they appear right. to be in theory. Even whenever we lock the range to being relatively tight. Uh, so when we continue through a call, which does happen some of the time, see a turn of 10 of spades. And this is going to be a weird card because a lot of our calls will include a 10. But we assume that, wow, that's sick. Now he just two E's. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. his strat just becomes two E or, right. or end. Yeah. Um, well, he recognized that was a bad card for him. You know, he's just like, this is a bad, I mean, bad card for me. I mean, is anyone doing it? No. I mean, not at these stakes. Definitely not. They're going to, like, do some stupid little, like, B10. <laughs> well, no, he's going to do what he did. He did. He did do that. Yeah. He, but he, he had he had a full house. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I guess he actually did nail it. He, bet, he nailed it. He, he bet 19 big blinds. Yeah, oh, he okay. literally bet 2E. Oh. 2E is twenty, yeah. almost he, 21 he big blinds. Right. So yeah, somehow he pulls this one off. <laughs> uh, you can see ten six right up there. It's funny because really like, he hard. really did just got him for the max, but obviously you know too big. Hands. I would assume Ace Five folds cooler. River for what it's worth. Um, so yeah, it's a pure call on the turn. I would bet this this folds River uh, almost. You're saying the nut flush folds nut River? Flush? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize a heart came. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's my bad. What? Yeah, I was like, wait, Stand say what? <laughs> wait a second. Uh, Are you yeah, folding no. not flushes? No, no, no. Like, change that yeah. graphic to just fold. Look, you're calling with almost. You're calling with a heavy dose of all your ASEX anyway. Yeah. Um. So like all of your nut flush draws are calling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you first said like that he was debating folding the river, I didn't realize that he had the nut flush. I thought it was just like top hair. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's no question. And Melissa was still like, "I'm not folding." <laughs> I, know, I was like, "Why are we folding top hair?" <laughs> No question on the three of hearts. No, no. It might be your games, no. by the way. So he's actually supposed to, when the heart comes, he's actually supposed to mix between uh, going all in and checking. Um, let's see what lights up. So a lot of his full, or sorry, not checking, uh, B40. So you can see like a lot of his full house, like 10-6, actually wants to induce here. Mm. Uh, reason being is all of the one pair hands that imposition has now really can't call. Yeah. And you even start to put 10x into a tough spot. So... When we jam here, let's look and see where the indifference line comes. Uh, so almost all one pairs, you can see all the ace X's. These are largely uh, indifferent and folding. Ace 10, obviously very happy. It's the nuts. Aces, also the nuts. Um, but now when you look at the trip 10s, you can see king 10, indifferent. Queen 10, pure fold. Jack 10, pure fold. Wow. 10, 9, pure fold. Mm -hmm. So like you don't want to be jamming. Yeah. That makes sense. To be fair, like when you have boats, they probably don't have these trips very often. 
Also, like, the flush came in. That's why. That's why. That, yeah, that, right. That's specifically why, right? So if you be 40, flushes are probably supposed to jam. Yeah. Um, so when you look at the all-in, it's going to be all the nut flushes as we would expect. Uh, somehow, ace-6 jams. Not sure why. I guess you get other ace-x to fold. Well, you're, like, blocking... You're blocking boats, boats, and yeah. I guess like you get prepared. <clears throat> yeah, you get like maybe the ace queen block bet to fold. Uh, if I had to get, let's just take a quick look and see what becomes indifferent for him. Uh, no, there's no ace. Oh, it's you get trips like to fold. Thing, you yeah. get trips to fold. That's why. Wow. So you get all the ten x to fold mm -hmm. that took this line. That's pretty sick. I mean, don't okay. do that in in real life. <laughs> it's <laughs> never it. happening. It's okay. Yeah, those hands are just I bet give calling. You permission. Those hands are bet calling for sure. <laughs> um, but you can see even the king high flush jams river, queen high flush mm -hmm. jams river. So like you don't lose value in theory when you have these full houses because in position is always supposed to jam flushes. Uh, now when you do jam, it's going to call these flushes anyway. That's not the point. Um, so you can see all of the hearts they call anyway. Uh, all the full houses call. Yeah, I mean like even the eight high flush, that's our worst flush. It's just calling. I, I I think Melissa's on this something. Get out there, jam your A6, yeah. and then tell us all about yeah. it. Our Discord for I in give the mock. That's right. Sometimes you have to do stuff like that. That is right. And, you know, see what happens. Well, make sure you tell us about it in our Discord, though. Yeah, uh, I think the B40 <laughs> is like particularly good um, with these full houses, though, because you do extract full value from the 10x. Yeah. But you also start to get called by a lot of the Ace X, like Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace Jack. These are all mixing. Uh, certain suits are pure calling. These hands just fold to a jam. Um, that's really important. Ace nine, pure call. Uh, Ace six, sometimes jams, sometimes calls. All of these are good events for full houses in theory, right? Where these hands start to all mix folds at some frequency whenever you just open jam. Um, so the lead, lead, lead guy actually no, <clears throat> flop bad. Everything else pretty no, good. But, yeah. but no, because what's well, a byproduct of the hand? Yeah. I understand. Like, I get that. Right. No, I'm not that. giving him flowers here. <laughs> get out of there um, on the flop. Yeah. And as far as our user true power goes, you played the hand fine, man. Just very unlucky. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think cooler. you can fold to a non-heart river. That's that's obviously a no-brainer. But as played, just a cooler, man. Your your boy flopped two pair. We could have ran it. Wouldn't have mattered. You would have been dead on the turn either way. So you could have raised flop. Would not have done anything. Uh, you cannot fold river. You made your flush. Sometimes the poker yeah, gods just choose the other flush. guy. Got the the problem becomes like what what hands does he jam that we beat? Yeah, right. Because like that's that's the scary part. Like when you Think look, he ever has trips. Well, when you look at the jam range, that's what he said. He he he, he shouldn't. He, he said he he just never, he never plays a ten this way. Well, it's right. like oh maybe like king queen of hearts, but like everyone's too pussy to do that. <laughs> True. You know. Yeah. So he's supposed to bluff like king queen off. He's supposed to buff King Jack off. He's supposed to jam Ace Nine. He's supposed to jam like but King like, Five of Hearts. I don't really care. Like I'm not folding it up. No, of course not. You know, of, like of, I, whatever. Of course take not. Take it. Yeah, um, take your medicine. Take your medicine. Like yeah, he's supposed to. He's supposed to have Eight Seven for a flop gut shot. Yeah. That he takes People this line like, with. Are too scared to do anything. Nine like Eight. That. You know these hands should be in there. Nine Eight High Flush. His combo draws that bet twice and got there. The problem is, is like it's a big parlay of events where they have to choose to lead those hands, then somehow two e them on the turn, and then make their flush and not be afraid of a bigger flush and just yeet it in on a yeah. paired board. Yeah, yeet. yeah, it's not gonna right. Happen. It's like you're probably dead if you fold it on the turn. But I would, like you can pry it out of my cold dead hands. Here, yeah, here, here's <laughs> the thing. thing: if you had folded on the turn, I would say that's not theoretically correct, but I wouldn't fault you. Yeah. If you fold on the river, I think that you're just making errors. Yeah. Right? Because, like, they just can have king, queen of hearts. Not often, but, like, they just enough. can't. Enough. Enough, right? Like, not going to be often. They just have enough. some fuck shit sometimes. Yeah. They have a six sometimes. sometimes like, people, I don't know. Sometimes people do fuck shit. Right. And you have the nuts, sort yes. of. Well, you have the 25th yeah. nuts. <laughs> Which enough is good enough to be justified as close nuts. enough. Yeah, right. Close enough. Close enough. Who's Absolutely. the ace on the river? If you two. Uh, would like to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Don't forget, that's our cue. Uh, we'd love a little bit of support for the channel. If you would like to submit your own in the muck, be sure to head to our Discord channel at OnlyFriendsPod. You can find the link. It's our pinned tweet. Uh, also, you can hit hashtag Discord in the chat. 
and that will take you to our little community where we have an entire forum set up for in the muck. We would love to hear from you guys. It's a pleasure to analyze these hands. We appreciate you all. Boo Dog, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing at least you at Champions uh, April 25th. Yes. We might be there with you. I'll we'll take see. some footage. If Podcast on the road. Podcast on the road. Guapo's having a heart attack. Guapo's having a heart attack. <laughs> I'll attack. be all right. He'll be all right. He's not going to go. <laughs> He's just hot because you turned the AC I, off. The part that hot. made me happy was maybe we don't have to take any equipment at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> Unless you come to Milwaukee with me afterwards. Oh, my God. <laughs> I Wait. got some mid-stakes. Milwaukee. Mm. I got some mid-stakes for you all. Milwaukee. Who's here for the mid-stakes sedan? All right, that's going to do it for us. We'll be back tomorrow with Matt Hunt for Strat Chat. We'll see you guys all noon Pacific. See you then. Peace. Peace.